Josh, I got a question from a brother that I was trying to respond to. And for some reason, I don't know, the comment got deleted or whatever, some YouTube stuff. But I wanted to touch on this subject. I'm basically saying, look, I don't have any desire to have sex. Like, it's just, I don't have it. And it's clear. It's clear he's not just talking nonsense. He has a spiritual practice. He's realized... He's realized this inner space inside that's that's always content. It's satiated. Therefore, he doesn't have these external desires that a lot of a lot of people have. How can you? How can you? When you recognize who you truly are, how are you going to desire <clears throat> strongly anything? It's not that you become some robot and you don't desire anything. I mean, you know, it's superficially there's still desires like you you want to maybe you like french fries or or whatever and you still enjoy uh <clears throat> there's attraction to a woman of course because we're we're in a male body so we're half of the whole so there's some nice balance that you that you get but the desire and obsession and and passion about oh i'm gonna i need to have sex and all that stuff <clears throat> Hopefully before you die on this planet you get to taste what that feels like and you just you're free of it Myself same if I never had sex again, man, it's totally cool. I don't care about it It's not a big deal at the same time. <clears throat> I'm flexible You see if the universe somehow is gonna orchestrate a situation to where it's a it's kind of like Divinely ordained that we have sex. Okay, let's do it but it's not, it's not gonna come from a personal desire on my part. I don't have any, any uh, inordinate need or any confusion on any level, including subconscious, that sex is gonna give me something that I don't already have inside. You see, I don't feel that. I've went through that stage. Now, I don't remember how old he was, but it sounded like he was younger, so the, that exists like these people exist now I think there's more than a few out there that can probably relate to that your higher nature your spiritual nature has been activated the problem is society and people and friends and everything else it doesn't support that nobody talks about it in fact, they'll tell you the opposite. There's something wrong with you. What are you, gay? Like, what do you mean you don't want to have sex? Like, like what's going on? You're supposed to, if you're out in public and a girl walks by, you're supposed to, like, look at her and be like, wow. So if you don't do that, there's something wrong with you. So I'm telling you, it's not only not something wrong with you, everything's right with you. But you got to bear this, uh, this sense of separation or aloneness. I've made videos on that. Isolation. See, to really stand in the height of your being, you need, you need to walk alone for a while. Because I'm telling you, the world doesn't support it. Not at this time and age. Maybe 7,000, 9,000 years from now, <clears throat> we're in golden age. It's said that 85% of everybody uh, has recognized their true nature or self-realized or awake, whatever. So then everybody can kind of synergize. At this point, please. It's like... It's the opposite of what's being shared right now. I mean, just click on semen retention, uh, this 90, 95, maybe 98%, maybe 99 is all pretty much the opposite of what I'm saying. They're saying like, use semen retention so you can have more sex, you get more female attraction. That's cool. I did that too. You see, you gotta, some of us have to taste that, but some of us don't have to taste that so long. It's like you dabble in it, and you're doing self-reflection, introspection, you're looking at things clearly, and you're like, at some point, you know what? This is, this is just making me like more restless. Like this isn't giving me anything. This isn't giving energy, it's taking energy. This isn't making me more <clears throat> uh, complete or content. It's, it's the opposite, it's giving me anxiety always on the run looking looking for a girl who you know <clears throat> how does she look and who can I have sex with her like at some point you realize like a lot of you have that watch this channel you realize like you hit bottom with that something wants something greater for your life you've already tasted that enough you 
you see that it's futile, it's not going to give you any real uh, benefit or peace, so you let go of it. But then you got to deal with the habit, the strong pull. See, the habit doesn't want you to let go of it. It wants to keep you in that. So this is the this is kind of the spiritual war. Didn't I make a video on that? Something spiritual warfare. Oh yeah. So you got to bear that. You got to go through that and connect with these people. That uh, if you see somebody leave a comment that you connect with, connect with them. I mean, this is this is this is one of the main things the channel's for. Also, you find somebody on there and <clears throat> they're they're speaking the same language and they're in the same similar level of consciousness as, as you. Get a hold of them. Send them a message. I saw I saw some messages <clears throat> that happened. And one of the guys like, let's connect on Zoom, man. I'm feeling where you're at. And the guy's like, yeah, let's do it. There you go. You want people like that in your life. You want friends like that. You don't want people in your life that's telling you the opposite of, of, of what you're, <clears throat> you're feeling. You don't want people to drown out this higher tendency, higher self that's trying to be born. You want people to support that. It's what you want. That's what, that's, what, that's, what, <laughs> that's what we're here for. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I wanna make another video. I'm gonna see, I'm, I'm gonna do a little experiment. Like if I make shorter videos, maybe I can make more. So let's see how that goes.